Hello, world. Happy, uh, what day of the week is it? Thursday. Today's Thursday. I'm in Hamilton. I had to do some deliveries. Sometimes when somebody orders on like a, on like a Tuesday, I can't push it until Mondays. So sometimes I have to come twice, but I try to avoid it. Tuesday is like the only day that if somebody orders, I have to make two trips in a week, which I don't like doing because, uh, Hamilton's like a half hour and gas is friggin' expensive right now. Um... But that's okay. Last time I was here, I got a sick shirt, so it was worth. And also, look at this. Oh, oh, oh my god. When you come early, 11 o'clock, the place beside my uh, delivery place has the pizza just coming out, and their slices are cheap and delicious. So, you boys sitting in the parking lot of Mission Thrift. It's going to munch this pizza, and then we're going to go inside. Um, also the weather's horrible today, if you couldn't tell. So yeah, pizza time, then deal time. Let's go. Pizza time. Talking about the Marcus Ware <coughs> jersey. Um, uh, pretty sure it's fake. Stitching's bad, but it's only $7, so. I just pick it up for myself, because it'll fit me. It's been washed, which makes this shit look all bad. I'm gonna pick up this uh, tie catch jersey. It's only eight bucks. It's a small, but eight bucks is fine. I can put that in the booth for like 20 and be good. These are pretty sick. The Nike joggers. They're 2XL, so they might be too big for me. We'll see. I think the ones I'm wearing right now. Oh, I'm not wearing them. The ones I was wearing yesterday are only XLs. But at eight bucks, I can't really fight that. I'm gonna get them. Man, I like that store. It's good. I wish most thrift stores were like that because uh, I don't always find like crazy stuff or like a lot of stuff. But what I do find is always pretty good. And the prices are like what thrift store prices should be. Like uh, those pants were $8. That Those jerseys were both $8. Like that's how much used stuff should be. Like what are you thinking? At Value Village, those pants I guarantee would be like $25. I don't even look at the pants usually at Value Village because the prices are just so crazy. But, uh, yeah. Speaking of crazy prices at Value Village, let's go hit Value Village. This is pretty cool. It's an old Packard car, like a photo, in a thing of glass with a clock on it. $20, though, which I think is crazy. So, pass. This is cool. This is Enter the Dragon on Betamax. I don't think I've ever found... Betamax before. I'm gonna buy this regardless. I don't know if it's worth money or not, but I'm picking it up. I kind of want to buy this Grave Digger cup from Monster Jam. Apparently, it lights up. Remove lighted something something. What's this from? 2001. I think I might buy this. Pick up this Raptors toque for myself. I'm also kind of debating on this camera bag. This is a really good side bag. It's like a sling bag for uh, if you're bringing a mini. Although I need a bigger one than this. That won't work for me, I guess. It's a really good one though. If anybody needs a camera bag, that's a pretty good deal. I haven't been putting sold comps a lot lately, but look at the sold comp on this thing. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna have to figure out how to clean it up. But good God. Jesus, there's valuable plush here. This is Mega Lucario. This is about 40 bucks too. I gotta keep looking, I guess. So I caught Value Village slipping, that Vaporeon. Um, I don't know why the hell it's so expensive. It's a retired Build-A-Bear. Um, Build-A-Bear workshop. Apparently it was only for like a couple months. So I guess it became pretty valuable. And then this Lucario is just a uh, pretty uncommon order. But yeah, as you saw in the sold comps, that thing slaps. Mine's dirty, so I'm not gonna get, um, you know, I'm not gonna get what they, uh, what all the other ones got. But hey, if I paid fifteen dollars, if I can get fifty dollars for that, I would be stoked. So, yeah, um, big dubs there. I'm at another Value Village right now. I'm in Burlington, which is for people that don't know, Burlington's like um, ten minutes away from, further away from my house, uh, from Hamilton. So, still kind of in the Hamilton area. I had to come pick up something. 
from a dude off a marketplace buy. Not like a reseller thing. Uh, it's a disc golf basket or a disc golf like you throw into. Not a basket, like a practice net, like a golf, you know, like in golf you have swing nets so you don't have to go retrieve your balls and stuff. I got one of those for disc golf. Um, I'm at a thrift, I'm at Value Village in Burlington. This one is like really old and kind of shitty and I've never got anything here, but today could be the day. Let's go. The last time I hit this Value Village was the day that I did, um, was uh, thrift day, national thrift day or whatever, where I hit like, I don't remember how many hit, like 10 thrift stores in one day, where I got all those pins. And so let's see what we get. I might pick this up. This is a Y2K bug. Anybody who wasn't born before 2000 doesn't understand how stupid people used to be. They thought when the year 2000 hit that it was going to like crash the internet and everything would go black. And then people kind of made these as like a joke because uh, everybody was so afraid of the Y2K bug. So I might pick that up. It's kind of cool. It's not really worth anything, but kind of fun. I might put it on my, on my uh, shelf. This is a 1996 Sing and Snore Ernie. Um, he's not worth, he's worth like 25-ish bucks. But this one's really gross and dirty and obviously I'm assuming the electronics probably don't work by the condition that he's in. So we're just gonna skip. I 1000% had this as a kid. I don't know what it was, like micro machines or something. It opens up, it's really sick. Missing some pieces. Mm, I don't know if I should grab it. I kind of want to grab it for the nostalgia, but if I grabbed everything for the nostalgia, my apartment would be more overrun than it is. Okay, I just looked up comps and we're gonna have to buy it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, coming home with me. Okay, so I had to grab a cart quick because I found some more heat, dude. This is a 2002 um, Mercedes for men in black. That's about 25 bucks. This is a heater. This is a 1993 Megazord. Obviously not complete. Missing a sword in this thing. That's a big money one. This one's about 30. He's from 1998. Uh, might be less because he's obviously missing his front, but I'm gonna grab him. This is a banger. Uh, I think this one is 1998. It's all Power Rangers, obviously. This is 1997, and this is 1998 as well. Bunch of sick vintage Power Rangers, let's go. This Value Village has the world's smallest t-shirt section. It's only two racks. My Value Village has like two aisles of t-shirts. Weird. Look at this coat, 1986 A's Auto Body. Kinda of clean, I can't lie. It's only 1049. I don't need any more jackets, so it's something I'm gonna leave it. Damn, this value village is a friggin' diamond in the rough. Look at the pricing. 1049. Pensoil racing embroidered on the back. Clean as fuck. This Timberland jacket's kind of fire. Look at these like clasps. I don't think it fit me, but kinda heat. There's a pretty sick 90s ski coat. It is insanely heavy, but look at this, like, sick details. If the entire inside was like that, I'd probably pick it up, but it's just the collar, so I'm gonna leave it. This was one of my favorite, like, skate brand designs back in the day, the Enjoy. I loved the Panda. If this was my size, I would 100% buy it. I just don't think it has any resale. These little Converse are fire. Definitely grab these if they're my size, but they're not. They're all cracked, so we're leaving them. I will never talk shit about this Valley Village ever again. Good God. Um, I got one more stop to make. We're gonna go hit the, there's a Goodwill like two minutes down the road. So we'll go hit that. That's gonna be all she wrote. So let's go see if our luck keeps hitting today. Okay, I guess I lied. I'm now at a Salvation Army that I happened to drive by while I was on the way to the last stop, so. This is why I don't understand why the Hamilton people come to Brantford. There's a million thrift stores here. These old poster boards are super cool. This one is so adorable. This is me and my wife all the time. $5.99, not gonna grab them, but pretty cool. 
This is a Raven Sportswear Leafs jersey, which means it's 90s. This is a 90s brand. Well, it's $8.99. I don't know if it's worth it, personally. I think I'm going to skip. This is kind of cool. It's from a cruise line. It's obviously vintage. It's got the giant puff print across the back that says sail away. I don't know. This is kind of sick. Would this fit me? Probably would. I might grab that. I might grab this too. This is a 90s Molson Canadian Rocks. Long sleeve. It's like a turtleneck too. I don't know. Old Gildan Super Cotton. These are both um, DC jerseys. Like this one's The Flash. And this one is Clark Kent. There's listings online for like 40 bucks, but no solds. So at $12.99, I can't really risk it. This is super rad. The vintage Umbro soccer jersey. Unfortunately, it's $12.99. I tried it on and it doesn't fit. So at $12.99, I don't think there's money on it. So I'm gonna leave it. Here's a single stitch joint. Little Bighorn Montana. It's got a pretty cool graphic on it. Got like shiny flowers, single stitch. Six ninety nine though. I don't know. We'll see. I'll bring it with me. Probably gonna grab this as a personal. Two thousands little bat hometown bash. Don't know who the dude is. I'm sure, if I looked it up, I could find it out. But well, it's pretty cool. Clean graphic. Super white tee, which is nice for vintage tees. Picking up two pairs of bathing suits. Oh, never mind, not picking up these ones. These ones are really nasty. Are these ones clean? Yeah, these ones are good. They're both by the same brand. Um, I only have one bathing suit, and I'm going to Mexico in a couple weeks, so now I guess I have two. Full Kappa track suit. It's actually purple. I don't know why it looks blue, but it's like dark purple. If this was my size, 100% we're buying it. Man, I swear today has been a slapping day at the thrifts. Uh, I don't think I've done a video where it's all been one day, but this is gonna have to be all be all one day video. Otherwise it'll be way too long. Um, I'm at Goodwill in Burlington. I've been here a couple times before. I think if I remember correctly, this one, all the clothes are like set prices. So like all the t-shirts are a certain price, blah, blah, blah. So I like stores like that. So let's go see if our luck continues. Here's a wee travel bag. It's only eight bucks. But I don't think it's worth grabbing. I've spent more than enough money today already. Here's a Shen jersey. It's actually real. It's in a little bit rough shape. It's not too bad. But 30 bucks is too much for me. Buy another jacket. This one, nothing special in the front. Look at the back. God damn. What size is this? Only a medium won't fit me unfortunately but definitely grabbing as i walked in somebody left with a bunch of uranium glass and i think they missed a piece i'm pretty sure this is uranium but i don't have my uh black light to check so i'm gonna leave it this is a 1995 big bird he's giant i think i've already sold this exact one at the booth but this one is 20 bucks so we're gonna leave that Okay, literally today was the best day of sourcing I've had in months, like straight up months. As I was walking out behind the counter, there was like the stuff that they don't want people to steal. And I saw this, Shining Force 2 for the Sega Genesis. They had $9.99 on it. That's like an $80 game loose. So I made stacks today. Okay, guys, legitimate fat bank. All those Hamilton resellers that invade me to go hit my one value village, y'all are dummies. Your stores are way better than mine. Like look at all this. Look at this entire passenger seat full and back there. Literally so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're not even done yet. We gotta make a stop on the way home. So I'll see y'all back in Brantford. Look how foggy it is. See the mountain. Spooky dookie. Okay, the real last stop of the day. Just picked up 
my uh, Def Jam from Microplay. They said 100% disc read past or whatever. I don't know. They have like something that... But look at it. Literally looks brand new. Look at that handsome guy in there. So, I'm going to go home and... uh going to go home, put it in, and see how she works. And then I'm going to say goodbye to y'all. Okay, friendos, moment of truth. Let's go. Come on, Def Jam. You're going to work for me, okay, my son? Look at that. Oh, I love PS2. PS2 is the goat of all systems. Okay, we're in. Come on. Look at that handsome fella back there. Wow. Do, 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 do. Oh shit, we're loading. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. That's it right there. Cash money. That's money in the bank. $200 Renos, just like that. Anyways, today was a sick day. Um, I cashed in. Like, straight up, I cashed in. It's going to be a lot of work to list all that stuff and flip it, but... Woo, baby, was it a good day. Shout out all the Hamilton resellers for coming to Brantford so that I can go to Hamilton and steal all your good stuff. Um, I don't have a memory card. Ripping pepperoni, but let's go. Great day. See y'all uh, next week. Next week.